new four millimeter X10 hunting slash target arrow from Easton. Let's see if it's worth the hype. Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. MFJJ here with PodiumArcher.com looking at the new Easton X10 Parallel Pro. What's new you say? This is the same arrow they made last year as the X10 Pro Comp, but under a higher tolerance of parameter, they lowered the price. I say that again. They lowered the price to $249 from two, I think they were $89 or somewhere around that vicinity. They do not include a component so you can buy whatever component you want and you're not paying for a component that comes with the arrow that you may or may not use which i would like to see more manufacturers doing that especially arrow manufacturers making arrows over 150 dollars a dozen if you're making an arrow over 150 dollars a dozen as a bare shaft format there's a really good likelihood your consumer is not buying your insert and would probably appreciate not having to pay for it be included in the arrow just two two bits of thoughts from me so here's what they come out to be. You got an X10 parallel at 9.5 GPI on a 300 spine arrow, 100 grain point, 50 grain component. We're going off of the Easton titanium or R4 millimeter titanium since they don't come with a component. And the total arrow weight is 442 on a 28 inch arrow with a standard knock and three seven grain veins for 21 grains to equal 15.06 FOC. That my friends is a good number to hunt at if you ask me. That's a nice overall, uh, overall spec but let's measure these things out and see if they're really as great as they say they are. All right, now, unfortunately, somebody small and elk shapeish wanted to make an arrow over the other day, so we cut one of these down already, so I can only measure 11 for you, sorry. Don't get mad at me, blame Dan. All right, so let's see what these weigh out at. Let's see if I remember how I did this. It's been a little while since I've done an arrow video, so you gotta bear with me, folks. All right, 319 319.3, 319.1, 320.4. 320.4. 318 point seven eight seven eight sorry three eighteen point eight three eighteen point eight three eighteen point seven now these were in a, a bundled twelve so they should be matched as much as possible. 318.8. I want to say most bundled pro matched arrows, they say plus or minus a grain. So, but I've found in most instances, it's actually about plus or minus a half a grain. So a full grain spectrum from one end to the other. So that's kind of the standard I've been trying to hold people onto because I've seen that more often than not. So 318.8. And it looks like we've got a couple that are just outside of it. It's not terrible, but I'd like to see it within that if you're making a, this premium of an arrow. Okay, 319.3. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Getting ahead of myself here, folks. Been a long week. 319.0. Oh, oh, 318.0. Point eight seven eight. All right, leave it there. Okay, so lightest to heaviest. Let's see here. Our lightest is three eighteen seven. Yep, and three twenty oh four. So you've got one point seven variants, which. Honestly, it's a little more than I usually expect to get out of a good set of match grade arrows. I usually expect it to be one or less. Uh, but if you take the 320.04, that was the only one that hit up there. The rest of them were quite a bit lower. Um, that's actually 
Hang on, yeah, 319. That's two, isn't it? No, one, seven, yeah. So if you take that out and then find the next farthest one off, that's 319.3. So then you're talking like nothing, like point six variance if you took out one arrow. So my guess is that was probably accidentally put in there on a weight match set because they're usually pretty good. So if you eliminate the one, that's 0.6. That's a third of a grain plus or minus. That's really good. So typically you don't see it that tight without the one outlier. So maybe it's a fluke on that one. But outside of that, super, super, super close. Okay, we're done with the scale. Let's see how this goes. Looks like glass to me. This front's moving a little bit. Should move it around a little bit, make sure. Yep. This front on this one's moving a little. The back was really, really straight. Well, that back's moving a little bit. So is the front. That one's not very straight. That one's perfect. That one's perfect. I'm shocked I found two that weren't. Like almost every time I pull up one of their aluminum carbon arrows, they're just really straight, like super, super, super straight. So I'm surprised that I found two like that. But yeah, hey, you never know. First set we got sent, that's all I got to check. I hadn't received any other ones yet, so I don't have any others to check to compare, but it's nice and straight. Nice and straight. I'm moving a tiny bit. That one's not perfect, but it ain't, it's very, very little, but that one's moving just a tiny, tiny bit. So um, these two, I wanna look at them again. These are definitely moving, like a pretty decent amount. Yeah, like a lot. Yeah. So I think we just got a bad arrow in here, to be honest, folks, because um, it's really, Traditionally, that's not the case with them. And I'm willing to bet I could make a phone call and tell them what I found and they'd replace the arrow. Uh, but that being said, how we check things is the dozen that we get, we run through them. So those two I wouldn't use and there's one weight that's probably outside of what I would use. It's not terribly outside of it, but it still is either way. So I probably would probably pull that arrow. The rest of these are like perfect. Like you couldn't make arrows more consistent than what these ones are. Um, so I got to give them props on making something that's that, that straight, that consistent, and that little bit of weight variance if you take the couple out that I found that weren't great. Um, this is going to be their premium hunting arrow this year. You'll probably see a lot of the television people using them, that kind of thing, because it's what they're touting as the nicest product that they possibly can put out there for a hunter. So you will typically see that. We do have them on the website if you're interested. Uh, by the time this video launches, we will have them in stock. I checked and confirmed that they're in transit. So by the time I get this edited and launched, we will have them if you're interested. And we do have different componentry form, including the new two-piece uh, four millimeter components they came out with, which will make a whole different video on those once I have all of them in stock and can explain what makes that such a superior design. It's a really cool system and it goes on everybody's four millimeter arrows, not just Easton's, you just gotta get the right size, something to consider. Comment down below what you think of this video and other ones. Um, all in all, Easton makes a really good product. It's an American-made company. There aren't really other American-made arrows out there. And it's definitely something to think about and consider when you're purchasing an arrow. And 250 bucks coming down 40 bucks in the price of the arrow does make it a little more affordable. It's still at the top end of arrows out there in cost, but it's not as bad as it was. And you're not being forced to buy a component that you may or may not even want to use. So I appreciate them doing that. Thanks for that, guys, and keep following along. More interesting stuff coming. Thanks a lot.